oh no, the data that I need for my project is in a bunch of different databases. And worse still, they're all different database types. You've just found out that your next project needs data from both a MySQL and a PostgreSQL database. Well, this is going to be fun. You're now stuck setting up the connection through the command line to two completely different database types. And this includes solving the idiosyncratic problems that come from working with each of them. For certain databases like MySQL, this can be a real pain. Once you've connected, you then need to run a bunch of commands to even find out what's in the databases. And these commands are completely different for each database. That sounds like it's going to involve a lot of Googling. And then once you get to querying the databases, you'll need to copy and paste the data from the terminal into a CSV parser to start exploring the results. Hmm. If only there was some way of cutting out all of this boilerplate. With the IDE's database tool window, we can do exactly that. The IDE supports connections to a huge range of databases, from embedded databases like SQLite and H2, to massive cloud databases like Redshift and Snowflake, and even new and esoteric databases like DuckDB. Let's see how easy it is to connect to a PostgreSQL database using the IDE. All we need to do is select the PostgreSQL data source, enter our connection name, our username, our password, and the database name. The IDE even takes care of downloading the drivers for us with one click. Now we just need to hit OK and we're in. We can see that not only has the IDE connected us to our database, but we can also see the whole contents of the database at a glance. Ah, so much better. Connecting to our MySQL database is equally easy. We just need to pick the MySQL data source, enter the specific database credentials needed to connect to our MySQL database. And again, we let the IDE take care of downloading the drivers for us. And there we have it. Both of our databases are now connected and their contents are ready for us to browse right there in the UI. And if we need to add any other database types to our project, we can connect in a similar way with the IDE only needing our credentials and taking care of the drivers for each one. But what about querying databases? Is that easier? I'm so glad you asked. Of course it is. We can open dedicated console windows against each of the databases where we can write our queries. You can see that the IDE really helps us out here with code completion and inspections for each database's specific SQL dialect. Dedicated code completion for each SQL dialect? Now that is impressive. Once we're done querying, we can check out our results in lovely interactive tables. No copying, pasting, or parsing needed. The IDE even separates these tables by database to make sure that we can keep track of where the results have come from. With the IDE, double the database types no longer means double the work.